if you Tampa Bay, you just throw away the season. You fire Tarbo, you fire Brian Love, which, like, me, like now. Like, I'm not going to get upset no more. I'm going to do this convict. I'm, getting up, I'm not getting upset no more. Watching these bummer-ass Tampa Bay Buccaneers waste Tom Brady last year's. Look how he should have went. Should have been to Miami with Todd with a uh, snitching ass, bitch ass, Brian Flores snitched on him. I mean, this is. I mean, this is awful, man. I mean, what do we start? How awful the, the Buccaneers? Are? This is awful, man. This is awful. These boys are awful. You think they're gonna get going? Look, they they up seventeen ten in the second half. Defense balling. It's fourth and two at Cleveland thirty seven. They punt the ball. They take the leg game to punt the ball instead of being aggressive going for them fourth and two. Like, come on, bro. Go for it on fourth and two, bro. You have to third. All you need is a field goal to put the game away. Cleveland punt the ball back to you. You run the ball, get no yards, you lose yards. Turn away to get sacked. You give him a great field position. You let Nick Chuck go for 20 yards. And on fourth and 10, when you need to have it, tight end go over, snag it over there and white. You came, you, you can. And then when he gets the ball back, 32 seconds, I got three timeouts. You got three timeouts, bro. I'm so deflated with this team, bro. Like, Tampa Bay fans, I know people in Tampa going to be Tampa Bay fans, but people that went to Tampa Bay to be fans of Tampa Bay because of Tom Brady and the culture they was building because of Tom Brady, bro, I'm done. I'm done rooting for him this year. I ain't watching another Tampa Bay highlight, another Tampa Bay game. I don't care what they say on on, on Unexpected, Fox Sports, Skip Bay to try to take up for whoever. Shannon Sharp trying to bash him because he never gonna come out and bash the coaches because they black. I'm just done. This, this, one, this one of the offensive coaching jobs I ever seen in my life. The offensive line is ter terrific, horrible. Tom Brady make a great play, escape a sack. They gonna be in field goal range. Donovan Smith get his hands to the face mask on Miles Garrett. Come back, this play Miles Garrett sack Tom Brady. I mean, I mean, it's just an awful, sickening coaching job I have ever seen watching since, I, since I've been watching football. Um. Uh, I mean, Tom Brady, what, 14 touchdowns, two interceptions, 3,000 passing yards? I mean, people don't say he – it's it Bruce Aarons, fat white ass, talking about uh, he was playing bad. Nigga, how, nigga? Call out your sorry-ass coach yourself, bro, that you that, – that you, your successors. You don't want to do that because you don't want to make them look bad because, one, they black, and, two, they – you put them in that position so you can uh, sit up. So, for the Buccaneers to say they see they should fire – Buying Lovefish like today, or you can uh, go ahead and fire Tar Bowles. Either or, or both. It's either or, or both at this point. If not, I, I, I'm stepping away from the uh, Buccaneers. If they're not, I'm, step, I'm stepping away from the Buccaneers. You you leave you leave you leave the game. And you leave the regulation with two timeouts. Bag. They lo they love to get on Mike McCarthy because he's white. They love to get on Mike McCarthy because he got here bad clock knowledge. But nobody. Nobody calls out Tar Bowles and Brian Lefford's clock manager. Nobody. It's always Tom Brady. Tom Brady not playing good. Tom Brady this. Tom Brady there. He to go. Tom Brady both do this. Tom Brady both do that. Tom Brady should not get set. Tom Brady should throw the ball deeper. Tom Brady threw the ball six times deep to Mike Evans' slow ass. Mike Evans slow as that boy locked Mike Evans down, bro. He he don't even, he don't even attempt to get the ball. Mike Evans don't even attempt to get the ball. Like when the ball, like he don't dive out for the ball. He don't reach for the ball. He just yep. Don't don't even find it. Julio, I mean, Chris Godwin is Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin is back to being Chris Godwin. Nobody else made plays on the Tampa Bay team. Julio Jones cut him. Russell Gage, maybe. I mean, OBJ, I mean, bro, they need a line because Tristan Roach just got hurt. So if you take your business in regulation, Tristan Roach don't get hurt. You up 17-10 all the way. You don't you don't score another possession because you're trying to play on defense. You want to ride your defense. You want to be aggressive. You want to be aggressive. The best offense they have is when they speed up, no huddle, and let Tom Brady read the defense. They get that's how they get all their touchdowns in that game. They get both out. They score three times. They had the ball plenty of time. It's one of the worst uh, run teams I've seen in a long time with a, a Hall, of, Hall of Fame players on it: Mike Evans to Tom Brady to uh, Tristan Root. Got all kind of uh, Hall of Famers on that team. It's just. Not that yeah, a lot of people are, or a lot of people hurt. It started when the center got hurt and the guard got hurt in the training camp, and it just been downhill ever since, bro. It, it really started when they didn't fight tall bowls in the AFC division, uh, I mean NFC division round when they let Cooper Cup get wide open, in my opinion. But you play around, not only you lose the game, you lose Tristan Murphy. That's why you take care of business 
in New England with Tom Brady able to take the advantage because Bill Belichick is a far better coach than Todd Bowles could ever dream of. Uh, uh, Josh McDaniels is a better offensive party than Brian Leffers could ever dream of. I mean, it's one. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with football. I'm gonna focus on basketball. Uh, until the playoff, until the playoffs come, I will, I will focus back on football. But and I'm gonna still cover football in the playoffs. But I'm just focusing on basketball now. Y'all keep like subscribing. I uh, appreciate y'all. But uh, I'm done. With, I'm done rooting for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as long as Todd Bowles and Bob Lefkowitz the coaches there. I have no uh, desire of rooting for them. I don't care if Tom Brady or that. I have no desire of rooting for them. Y'all like subscribe.